All right, another day and another socket to be replaced. This one is 1700 on a motherboard gigabyte. What's the model of this? Uh, B760M Gaming. It's a really small one. And uh, look at the tiny size of the V core. It's like crazy small. I don't know why you bother with these. Anyways, this one is for Julio. Julio also sent us two CPU sockets and they were just thrown into a envelope. Uh, please don't do that. It's a waste. Both of these sockets are ruined. So we're not going to be able to use them. Uh, you need to wrap them nicely because, yeah, this side is covered. Sure. So this side is safe. But there's also balls on the other side. And you probably won't be able to see, but the balls have shifted. Right? So if, if I use this one, it's just not going to work. So we're going to have to find a socket. Actually, yeah, that's a good point. Before I start, let's confirm that we have 1700 sockets. All right, we have two more 1700 sockets. So we get. All right, I made a little modification here, so I can use smaller holes, which means I can hold it a little closer to the socket, which minimizes the warping. I'm still kind of debating whether whether to leave the brackets around to hold the board, at least the, the socket portion, to just kind of hold it and prevent warping. Because I'm not quite sure about that. Because, yeah, it's going to prevent warping for sure. Uh, but also, it's a lot of thermal mass. Right? So, the profile is going to have to be different. Okay. Now, let's align it. Technically, the board came in assembled instead of disassembled. Very common lately, unfortunately. And because so many people keep doing that... Uh, the service for disassembled board is going to be retired. It's just too too many. Too many are coming assembled and and uh, customers are paying for disassembled version, which means you know, the majority of that money that you're paying technically to me, I got to spend it on shipping. Now in this board, it doesn't really matter because the size of the heat sink is, is tiny. So it makes very little difference. It still does, you know, it still weighs a little bit, um, but not a, not a huge difference. But in some cases, the boards are, you know, it's a matter of quite a few pounds. So instead of 10 bucks for shipping, I got to spend 35 bucks for shipping, which means, you know, I lost a few bucks on, uh, on a job that you pay 55 bucks for, including socket, including electricity and solder and wick and plugs and all that kind of stuff right so unfortunately that service is going to be retired all right let's see the outline is that in check oh outline is pretty good oh i like this outline awesome awesome all right we're gonna use the no preheat profile but we're gonna be preheating very slowly the board is uh small so it shouldn't warp too much also, we're holding very close to the socket, so you should be able to see in this little picture over here uh, that the socket should barely move when it heats up. When you hold them by the edges of the board, once the board heats up, you can see the socket dropping and dropping, you know, as the temperature is growing. So this shouldn't happen here, which means this should be, should be a successful replacement. Let's hope it is. And we're going to need some fume extraction on this side. Okay, it's not in the way. Perfect. So I'm going to start preheating at uh, 50 degrees and then go 5 degrees at a time. So I set it to 50. As soon as it uh, reaches 50, I bump it to 55. As soon as it reaches 55, I bump it to 60 and so on. And you can see it on my uh, previous... Um, Hey, that was a reflow for uh, the customer that we did the socket replacement, but it didn't work. That was that big board. Uh, so I offered a reflow. So we just reflown it and, and it, well, we'll see. It should be good, but the, the board is really big. It flexes a lot. Uh, if it doesn't work, it's not an issue of a poor reflow. 
Um, also, I, I use much more aggressive uh, flux now. Omega 559-55-2, which um, improves results a lot because the this other flows a lot better with that flux. Uh, so that's why I offered reflow to some customers that did uh, did the socket replacement some time ago when I used less aggressive flux. But with that one, if it still doesn't work, it's not a problem of the reflow. It's it's the board. It's just too big. All right, now let's speed up the footage and let's get this done. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it. A life worth living is a life with meaning. I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating. I'm feeding this demon. Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face. Work a job every day till your dreams fade away. Like a card, never change. Play the game that we say. I need a break. Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want. I'll keep dreaming on. Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want. I'll keep dreaming on. Alrighty, another failure, unfortunately, because the board warped so bad that this is probably the worst I've ever seen warp. But the socket is replaced, so I don't know. There's no way you can RMA it, I don't think. But, you know, there's, there's no signs of replacement. There's no physical damage to the board. But I would be surprised if this worked because the warping was just crazy despite my best efforts at low preheating slow preheating and stuff it didn't work these flimsy boards are really difficult you would think that the thick board is more challenging than the flimsy board because it requires more heat and stuff like that but it's exact opposite the flimsy fin boards are the worst because they just warp also this one since it has then a very tiny v core and all that kind of stuff right it's not it's not very powerful board it has very few components to just kind of hold the board together so yeah and it's uh, relatively big for for the size of the v core this size this board should be half its size so and if it was half its size it would probably be um, a lot easier but that's what we got uh, that's our best the best effort i probably should stop even doing those those little boards i probably should uh, put a little disclaimer on the listing that if your board is flimsy like this one don't bother because most likely it's not gonna it's not gonna work due to warping but that's what we got hope you guys enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and i shall see you guys in the next one